Hi, I'm Mr. Sato. Let's talk about paragraph transitions. Listen to this and see if it makes sense to you. The couple served not cake but pie at their wedding. We should elect a Jedi to be president. That's what young people today like to call totally random. The two sentences don't seem to be related in any way. But there is a connection. I just didn't show it to you with the transition. Here it is with the transition. The couple served not cake but pie at their wedding. It was unconventional but a great idea. Why not? Here's another unconventional idea. We should elect a Jedi to be president. Now it makes sense. That's what transitions are for. They help your reader follow your reasoning by showing the connections between statements. And one place where writers must learn to put transitions is between paragraphs. So let's look at just two kinds of paragraph transitions. One, standard transitional devices. Two, paragraph links. The easiest kind of transition is the standard transitional device. Here's a list. These are easy and perfectly acceptable. But remember that you use different transitions in different situations. Pay attention to what they mean. You'd use furthermore or moreover if you've already made a point and are about to give another supporting example. You'd use, on the other hand, when you're going to give a contrasting example or make a point that disagrees with your previous one. You'd use nobody denies when you are going to concede a point contrary to your thesis. Easiest of all, you may also use standard devices that show sequence. First, firstly, second, secondly, third, thirdly, to begin with, next, and finally. Note, never use the slangy first off in an academic essay. It drives me crazy. Also, try to avoid in conclusion because it's overused. The simple so does the same thing, as I will show you in my next sentence. So, these easy transitional devices are perfectly okay. Just make sure that the transition you choose is appropriate to the content of the two paragraphs you're connecting. And if a simple transition is all you need, you can stop watching here. But honestly, these kinds of paragraph transitions are pretty simple and mechanical and aren't going to impress anybody. If you're ready for a more sophisticated kind of transition, try what I'll call a link. In an old textbook from the 1970s, Lucille Von Payne calls these paragraph hooks, but I already call something else in an essay a hook, so to avoid confusion, I call this a paragraph link. And we'll talk about two different kinds, the word link and the idea link. Paragraph links are less obvious and more graceful than the devices I just showed you. Before I explain what it is, Here's an example of a word link. The Jedi robe is elegant, formal, and would look great at state dinners. The robe is impressive, but not half as impressive as a lightsaber. Many dignitaries and kings in the past have worn beautiful ceremonial swords, so why not a president with a lightsaber? See how the word robe is used twice? This writer has taken the word from the first paragraph and repeated it in the first sentence of the next paragraph. That word links the two separate paragraphs. Another kind of paragraph link is the idea link. Here, rather than using a word, you refer to an idea from the previous paragraph like this. The Jedi robe is elegant, formal, and would look great at state dinners. That would probably impress visiting heads of state, but not as much as a lightsaber hanging from the president's belt. The words this, or that, or the phrases that concept and such an idea can be used to refer to an idea or an image in the previous paragraph. An idea link connects an idea you've just described to whatever you're about to say next. I like these and I recommend them. If you want to show off a little, you could do two at the same time. You might connect those two paragraphs with an idea link and a word link. The Jedi robe is elegant, formal, and would look great at state dinners. While this draped garment would impress at a state dinner, imagine the impression he or she would make stepping out of the presidential land speeder with a lightsaber hanging from his or her belt. Using the word this is an idea link. Quoting the phrase state dinner is a word link. Or here's one more. Let's say you wanted to use the word elegant as a paragraph link. You could use a standard transitional device as well. Mix and match. The Jedi robe is elegant, formal, and would look great at state dinners. In the same way, the lightsaber is, as Obi-Wan said, an elegant weapon for a more civilized age. The phrase, in the same way, is a standard transitional device, 
and Elegant is a word link. Using both makes your transition even stronger. Some teachers might tell you to put your transition at the end of the first paragraph instead of the beginning of the second one. I don't really care for this myself, but it's fine. And here's what it looks like. The Jedi robe is elegant, formal, and would look great at state dinners. So would a lightsaber. Obi-Wan called it an elegant weapon for a more civilized age. It's still impressively dangerous, but dangerous in the service of civilization. Do you see how the last line in the first paragraph mentions the lightsaber right before the paragraph that's actually about lightsabers? That's another way to do it. Paragraph transitions help guide your reader through your writing, so they don't get confused. They show your reader your line of reasoning, so your sentences don't come off as totally random. They show that your paragraphs are a well-organized chain of ideas working together to support your thesis, whatever that might be. Good luck with your essay, and may the force be with you.